I thought uh, the guys performed very well. They executed the plan that I asked them. Um, we did some very good things defensively, and I think we created very good chances. So even though um, we were compact and disciplined defensively, um, we still were able to create chances. And, uh, and unfortunately, I think um, we didn't get a result that uh, I felt could have justified a little bit better what happened on the field. But very proud of the guys. I think we're moving forward. I think uh, with this type of discipline and, uh, and mentality, um, we can definitely perform better and we have a better chance to be able to win games. There's no such thing as you know a must-win game in, in March, April, this early in the season. But when you look at the 12-game schedule and the need f uh, road schedule and the need for picking up points, um, San Jose is obviously a team that has struggled, and this seems like a winnable game for you guys. How important is it going to this game um, from your perspective to get three points out of it? Yeah, I think first of all, it's not to think the way you think, because I think if we think the way you think, then we already fell from the beginning, because San, San Jose is another tough team. Uh, there's, not, there's not an easy game in this league, and each team brings you something different. Um, this is a team that plays uh, very, very different than every other team. And you have to be prepared to what they're able to, to do on the field um, is their philosophy, uh, the coach's philosophy. And we have to be prepared and, and, and look ways to try to uh, find space the way uh, LAFC did very well. Um, but also, uh, for me, every game is a final. So for me, every game uh, is important. And the points that we have left uh, before, uh, they, for me, they're still important. And this game is no less important than the ones that we played. Uh, and every game is, is a must win for us. Uh, we go every single match, not to tie, to win games. And this is nothing different than that. Um, and, and, and the important part is what I said at the beginning. We cannot go there thinking, uh, you know, uh, the way everybody thinks. Uh, this is a team that hasn't won too many matches, uh, that has allowed and conceded uh, goals. Um, this is a tough match. And we need to be prepared for a battle and, and try to, you know, be our best and, and try to get points from, from San Jose. Uh, I guess without, uh, you know, looking down on how good or bad of a team San Jose is, I, I mean, just how important is it for the team to find its first win um, to sort of jumpstart the season a little bit? Yeah, it's always good to get your first win. I think I uh, keep on repeating. It should have been in Colorado, uh, but uh, it didn't happen that way. I think we had some very good moments uh, against LAFC. Uh, then uh, we gave them space, and that's a team that uh, is going to punish you in those in those moments. Um, I think in Cincinnati we play a good first half, um, not a good second half. And then I think uh, now uh, an improved uh, performance against the Galaxy. So we, we have had some good moments. We need to make sure that now those moments are more complete. And I think if we do that, definitely we have a better chance to get our first win. And, and I'm sorry to also extend it, but we knew these 12 games away from home was going to be tough. Uh, so as much as we want to uh, code it in a different way, it's not easy for the guys uh, because you never have the, the chance to be able to at least come back home, get a good game at home, and then come back out. It's weekend after weekend, play away, uh, but we have to deal with it and we have to be prepared for it, but it's, you know, it's not easy for the guys as well. You guys, uh, uh, the the club as a whole, it has struggled in March since 2011. I think no team has had a worse March record than, than the Timbers. Of course, you've only been here since last year, and there are the uh, sort of the factors of being on the road in both months for the entire month. But do you think there's more looking back that you feel like you should have been able to do in preseason um, in getting ready for the season to, to, to maybe set the guys up to, to hit the ground running a little bit better? No, I can definitely, you know, when things uh, don't go your way, you can go back and analyze and, and find 20,000 things that you can do differently. And, and players that you could have said, you know, maybe we, we could have done this or that. You know, I believe in what we are doing. I believe what uh, the... the the path that we have set for, uh, we're definitely going to continue to improve as a team. We're going to continue to become a better team uh, and stronger uh, by, you know, uh, adding possibly uh, also players. And, uh, and we're going to continue to to be strong. Uh, I think at the end, yes, we don't want to be a team that, uh, as you mentioned, uh, I... I I don't like those, you know, this team has never been good in, in March. So we need to be better. We need to be better. Those are things that are part of the statistics. Um, and more of, you know, we need to think that each game is important, it's, if it's in March or in December. Um, and we need to be good all the time. So I was content with our performance. And I, come, I came back from L.A. with a feeling that... Uh, 
you know, that the team is moving forward and is ready to be able to uh, give us something more, which is for me the, the important part. Just the last thing on that to follow up. I mean, are you at all concerned, um, you know, with these early season struggles the last two years, you've kind of had to, you've gone into the season with sort of one game plan uh, and then you've had these struggles and had to sort of make changes um, so quickly rather than, than being able to kind of build off what you're working yeah, on. Sometimes you wish you get uh, the results right away, you know, but sometimes if you don't get them, you have to you have to switch some things. Maybe sometimes... You know, your idea and what you think um, and, and, and the tactics that, that you thought that work uh, in the past to be successful, sometimes those things work in a different way. And you just have to make sure that you are uh, able to understand that sometimes you need to tweak some things and, and maybe make some little changes in order to get back into uh, the course. Um, and, and, and I think we have done that last game. We're going to continue to figure things out. And for now, the most important thing is uh, to continue to improve and to get results. Um, I have no doubt in, in the group. I have no doubt in the team. And I trust uh, these, these, these players uh, 100%. Coach, you obviously made a change to the team's shape this weekend, particularly defensively. It was uh, pronounced. Uh, what were your goals in trying to, uh, what goals were you trying to achieve in making that change? And how likely are we to see that shape from the team going forward? Yeah, I think uh, there were very strong reasons why I felt that this game we needed to go this way. And, and one I think is uh, Slatan. I think uh, we marked him very well uh, with the three center backs. Um, I think it gave us a lot of things, the system, you know, defensively and also offensively that uh, I think uh, were very good in this game. And, um, and if we felt that was the right, you know, game plan and, and the best part is that the guys executed the right way. This is a system that is always good. We used it many times last year. Uh, so, you know, if he's during matches, if he's at the beginning of the game, a team that can adapt to different situations and, and can feel comfortable, I think it's always a, a plus. One of the key differences is you were able to keep play outside this week, force the Galaxy into a number of crosses. Were you happy with your ability to defend those crosses, your ability to manage Zlatan Himovic's threat on those balls coming in? Definitely. I think we did uh, a great job. I think the players uh, handled that situation very well. Um, and maybe uh, it was a little bit out of control, some other situations that happened in the game that maybe could have uh, given us a little bit more. Um, and... Uh, and I think just maybe some of the crosses we could have prevented a little bit more. Uh, but, uh, you know, we knew exactly uh, what to expect. We knew the team very well. We analyzed many, many situations. We presented those things that the guys were going to face uh, in, in the game, and, and that's what they dealt with. Um, and I felt the guys did a great job, uh, everyone on the field. One of the people that stood out, and for the second game in a row he stood out, is Bill Tuiloma, although he played two very different positions over these last two games. Uh, right now, do you feel that Bill Tuiloma is more important to you as a central defender or as a midfielder? Both. Whatever we need him. I think, uh, I think he's shown that he can perform in, in the two ways. You know, I think it depends uh, what he gives on the middle, what he gives in the back. That will lead to understand if, you know, if he's the right choice for us um, at certain games. But having always a player, I'm, I'm, I'm a believer that if a player can perform two positions well, uh, it's always a plus. And, um, and, and he's done that the past two games. Um, from my kind of naive point of view, one of the differences between this team's effectiveness in attack this year as com uh, compared to last year's, the team was very effective on the counterattack last year, very good at making those connections in the middle of the field to get themselves quickly into the next phase of attack. And from my point of view, that hasn't happened yet this year. I wanted to get your assessment as to whether you agree with that, and if you do agree with that, how the team can improve. Yeah, I think I, think I agree and disagree, and I'll tell you why. I think that we did have moments uh, in all the games uh, uh, of counters. Uh, the only thing is that some we were able to produce and, and score, some we didn't. Um, and when they're reflecting to the game uh, in, a, in a win, then definitely you believe that maybe we didn't attack as much. But we have. We have. If you go analyze the games, we have had very good moments. And Seba had a few chances uh, on counters. Seba, uh, Valeri, Jebo in this game uh, that I think you know show that um, that we still can can perform that way. But I think also we've been better with the ball this year. And we've been playing a little bit more in possession. We've been playing a little bit more sometimes on the opposite side and sometimes when you have the ball and you've been there you are not countering because you are trying to break lines and, and trying to figure 
a way to be able to unbalance the opposition. So that also has led into maybe sometimes not seeing some of the counters. So that's why I agree or disagree in, in what you just said. Uh, you mentioned the chances. I mean, in the first half, you put Valerian behind the line, Seba in behind the line, uh, a slightly misconnection to Jeremy Abobasi, but the team was doing a very good job of attacking that space behind the Galaxy line. Was there any change in tactics or approach, or was it just a change in execution? Uh, no, meaning what we were able to do well in the game uh, is it, it, what we saw. Uh, we planned it, we worked on it, uh, we make sure that... Uh, that uh, the pictures were clear in practice. Uh, everybody had a clear responsibilities in the movements that they had to make. And guys did a great job. A uh, guy like Guzman was very good, effective in, in, in finding space behind the fullback. Um, that's how the goal came. Uh, there were many, many movements that I felt uh, the guys executed very well. And um, everything was uh, planned. And, and that's why I said that I think the guys executed very, very well. And the team obviously made a lot of good progress this weekend, but they also lost their third game in a row. How would you describe the mentality within the group right now? Very good, because they know that this game was winnable, that uh, as I think they, they, they believe that we deserved something more from the game. Uh, we understand that sometimes, you know, in these games, uh, you play with things that are, uh, you know, out of your control. Uh, and, and, uh, and I think... It was obvious uh, some of the things that, that happened on the game that maybe if we have some players on our side that were on the other side, maybe things would have been a little bit different in some of the situations that happened in the game. Uh, but we cannot just stop in that. We have to, you know, at the end, we have to play with that as well. We have to understand that sometimes, you know, uh, maybe some situations happen more for other players than others. Um, and we need to make sure that uh, we execute and keep on believing ourselves because at the end, if you do the, the right things, uh, eventually things are going to go your way.